Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to create an NFT drop with a delayed reveal, which means that when users are minting their NFTs, they won't be able to see what the NFT looks like. You, as the creator of the NFT drop, will have control as to when to reveal the NFTs. This is a really cool feature that Third Web offers, and the best part is that we can build it without any code whatsoever. We can do it entirely from the Third Web dashboard. Currently, 71.4% of people who watch our Web3 videos have not subscribed to the channel. So if you've taken away any value from what we're doing, can I ask just one small favor? Hit that subscribe button and join the 29%. Each week, we are going to be airdropping a very special and rare third web NFT to 10 subscribers. Let's take a look and dive into how we can build this NFT drop with a delayed reveal. Let's take a look at the third web dashboard. You can come to thirdweb.com forward slash dashboard. And the first thing we have to do is obviously connect a wallet. So let's connect a wallet and this is some of the other um, contracts that I've deployed with this wallet, but we're going to deploy a new contract. We're going to select the NFT drop, which is a, a, an NFT contract for releasing one of one NFTs. Um, and we can deploy now in the top right corner. We're going to deploy this contract now. We can choose a name. Let's call it um, Amazing um, NFT drop. And then we can set whichever other details we want. We can upload an image, a description. We can create a symbol for the NFTs. Um, but I'm not going to do that for now. Um, and of course, the payment details are really important. The recipient address. So if you're going to charge for your NFTs, that this is the address that will receive those funds. And royalties. If you want to charge royalties for any secondary sales of the assets, then you can um, specify that over here. And of course, we also have to specify the network or the chain. We're going to work on the Mumbai um, testnet so you will need some uh, Mumbai testnet um, matic in your wallet and then we can click on deploy now this will prompt a metamask transaction so we can wait for that once we've got that we can click on confirm so we're going to give this a second or two to finish building and now the or to finish deploying sorry and the contract is now successfully deployed so what we need to do is a few things here Firstly, this is the dashboard for a contract in of Third Web. And you can see we've got this really nice explorer here, which is a way to interact with a contract. These are all of the various functions that you have access to in the contract. And then you've got all these other tabs here, which are also really, really nice. You've got an events tab to view all the events that happen in the contract. You've got an NFTs tab, which is where you manage all the NFTs in the contract. You've got a claim conditions tab, which is how you control how and when and for how much people can actually claim the NFTs. You've got permissions to manage permissions um, and you've got the ability to create um, like a little Im embed for the for this NFT drop contract. Um, but my favorite tab by far is the code tab. Um, and this is where you can see all these little code snippets which are generated by Third Web, which make it really easy to build with Third Web. So you can set up a project using the Third Web CLI and then you can use each of these um, little code snippets to do a different thing. And we've got React snippets for the front end, JavaScript for the back end, Python and Go. Um, and it's just a really, really cool feature of Third Web, makes it super easy and simple to build with your contract. Um, and this is uh, generated by Third Web for all contracts. So um, when you deploy or release a contract with Third Web, you'll see that um, these code snippets are there and available for you to use. And of course, we've got settings and sources. This is the source code um, for the contract. So you can see all of the different contracts that make this possible. So let's go back to our NFTs tab. And what we're going to do is upload some NFTs so that they can be claimed. We have got two options, either a single upload or a batch upload, but we're going to do a batch upload so that we can have a delayed reveal for our batch. So we're going to click on batch upload and you have to upload a CSV file or a JSON file along with the images for the NFTs. So I've already prepared these. Um, and so I'm going to click on uh, click on here to select them um, and I've got nfts.csv and I've got the um, two um, images that we're going to use and I'm going to click on open um, and third web shows us a preview of what these are going to look like so we can see the image there we can see the name and we can see the description um, and I'm going to click on next and now we've got a choice when do we want to reveal the NFTs? Do we want to reveal it when someone mints their NFTs, then they'll be able to see it? Or do we want to um, control when um, when um, people will be able to do it and we can reveal it all at once and we can reveal all the NFTs in this batch all at once? So I'm going to select this option for now. And in this option, we have to choose a password. So I'm just going to make up 
a really simple password for this. And once we've got that, we can control it a little bit more. So we can give like a placeholder image. So if you want like a logo for your drop or something like that, you can give a name. So we can say the delayed reveal we can take out test. And um, so we can say just delayed reveal. And then we can add a description if we want. We can give like a date as they've suggested here. And then we can say upload these two NFTs. And of course, this is going to prompt another transaction from MetaMask. And um, so we're going to just wait for that to come up. What is happening now in the background is that ThirdWeb is pinning our NFT data to RPFS um, so that it is there. Um, and then we can have the NFTs waiting for people to actually claim and mint them. So um, we are going to confirm this. Um, okay, so this transaction is, is busy being mined, it's busy processing. And what's really cool here is that what we are doing is called a lazy mint, which means that we are preparing all of the data but we are not actually minting the NFTs. The minting will only take place once a user comes and claims an NFT, then the NFT is actually minted um, onto the, the blockchain. So we are back at our dashboard. We can see that we've now got two NFTs. The media is um, withheld, the name, the description, et cetera, et cetera. The owner is obviously a null address. You can see the unclaimed supply is two, the total supply is two, and we've got now an option to reveal NFTs if we want. Before we can claim NFTs or, or do anything else, we have to set the claim conditions. So again, this is how we control when people can claim them, how many NFTs can be claimed, and a whole bunch of other details. So we want this to start now. This is the current date and time. We um, can set it to unlimited. We don't mind how many NFTs are claimed in this drop and um, in this phase. We um, don't want to charge anything for these NFTs, but if we did, we could set that here and we could set the currency that we want to use um, and we want to allow any wallet to claim. We could set an allow list if we wanted to, um, but we're not going to do that for now. We're going to allow any wallet to uh, to claim. And then we can also control how many NFTs can be claimed in each transaction and also how many seconds a wallet has to wait in between claiming. Let's save this claim phase. Um, and this again will allow us to start actually claiming NFTs. And of course, it is a transaction that we have to confirm. We're going to give that a few seconds just to um, be mined and processed, and then we can move on to the next step. Um, and once this is done, we can start to claim the NFTs and then reveal them. Um, okay, so success, save the claim phases. Let's go back to our NFTs tab. And what's really cool is like this, is we can claim an NFT from this dashboard. So if I click on claim, it will claim to my wallet address that I've um, put into, that, that I've connected with over here. And I'll be claiming one NFT at a time. I could claim that NFT now if I wanted to. But what's really actually amazing is that this is a shareable um, link. So you can copy this address and you can share it with anyone else. And they could go here, just to show you what I mean. I can copy this. I can open up a... Um, incognito window and paste that in there and I can let that then um, and then I'm going to skip this for now and um, but then this takes me to a dashboard that looks similar but obviously because I'm not the owner of this contract I don't have all the buttons to upload and to claim and I don't have all the buttons to upload and to reveal I've only got the claim button and here if I were to connect a wallet I'll be able to claim an NFT as well and that's really really amazing so you can actually share this with someone else and they can claim the NFTs for themselves so Let's close this and go back to our, um, where we are the owner of the contract. And um, let's claim an NFT to my wallet. We're gonna click on claim NFT. And of course, another transaction will have to pop up. So we're gonna give that a few seconds. We can click on um, confirm. And then um, we give it a little bit of time just to process or man. Um, okay, so the NFT has been successfully claimed. You can now see that the owner has changed. The owner is now my wallet address, but all the media name and description is still withheld because it's still on delayed reveal. So now we can click on reveal NFTs. I'm going to type in the password that I um, created before. And going to um, click reveal NFTs and we'll enter. And it is, of course, going to prompt a transaction. Great, and now we're just gonna give it a few seconds and then it will reveal all of the NFTs. And of course, um, all the users who now own the NFTs who have claimed them will also then be able to view the NFTs um, for themselves. There we go. So the batch was successfully re revealed. You can see the media is now viewable, the names, the descriptions. I still own my NFT. This is still part of a null address. Um, and then we could claim the um, claim another NFT if we wanted to or someone else could claim an NFT. But we have um, 
deployed a smart contract, an NFT drop contract. We have uploaded NFTs and we have created a delayed reveal drop. We then claimed an NFT to our wallet after we set up the claim conditions and then we revealed all the NFTs in the drop. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the um, YouTube channel. We're putting out incredible content and, uh, and, and Third Web is building a community of the best builders in Web3. So join our Discord. Thank you so much for watching and we can't wait for the next video.